Thanks for watching us tonight. A major gift from Mayo Clinic is leading Rochester Public Schools to announce a revised budget plan. After a lot of community feedback today, Rochester Public Schools is making that announcement. Mayo is donating $10 million to RPS and it's signaling a sigh of relief for many families. Our Charles Kelly has been studying the plan announced just this morning. So Charles, what are we finding out from today's announcement? Tom, Caitlin, there are many components to this announcement, but Superintendent Kent Pakel outlined this morning the revised proposal would keep Pinewood Elementary, Mighty Oaks Early Learning School, and Riverside Elementary open. And I'm just delighted to be here this morning to share an exciting announcement with you on behalf of Mayo Clinic. RPS Superintendent Kent Pakel says another referendum is likely in 2024. But if the community doesn't show support, these painful cuts will return a year from now. This is what I would call a bridge proposal. And the fact of the matter is, um, if we are not successful in passing a referendum uh, over the course of the next year, we would have at least 10 million or more to cut. Um, we don't expect Mayo Clinic to write a $10 million check every year. It would make uh, no sense. They are providing critical support to maintain our momentum academically at this time. In the proposal, the 45-15 calendar will remain in place at Longfellow Elementary where students attend school for 45 days and have 15 days off year-round. In an effort to maximize space, Pinewood Elementary would move into the same building as Longfellow Elementary, but Pinewood would stay on a traditional schedule. The Mighty Oaks Early Learning School would move into the building currently occupied by Pinewood. Riverside will continue to operate as K-5 through where it currently is. Current later start times that we have for elementary now just aren't working for our youngest learners. The, re the research says they learn better in the morning. Working families need to get them to school yeah. earlier in the morning so that they can get to work. Elementary schools are expected to start at 7.55 a.m., middle schools at 8.35 a.m., and high school at 8.50 a.m. The proposal says times could change once a transportation route is finalized. People raised some good concerns. They raised some good concerns about where we drew the attendance lines. They said, well, okay, is there a midpoint between cutting the transportation for our six district-wide option schools and making them basically neighborhood schools and giving kids a bus across 218 square miles? So that resulted in a regional proposal. Previous proposal would have put more transportation responsibilities on parents, but the new plan would create regional designated pickup and drop-off points for those outside of neighborhood schools. RPS is continuing to receive feedback on the revised proposal and an updated version will be presented at the RPS school board meeting January 9th and discussed in its study session on January 16th. The vote on the finalized proposal will be on January 23rd. In studio, Charles Kelly, KTTC News.